Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another session of the Law Basket Online Lessons with me, Alfred Tengbe. In today's session, I shall be talking about the criminal procedures in the High Court of Sierra Leone. I will be focusing on three issues in today's session. One, we shall know who prosecutes criminal matters in the High Court of Sierra Leone. Two, who is to be criminally prosecuted in the High Court of Sierra Leone and how criminal matters are being commenced in the High Court of Sierra Leone. To start with, who prosecutes criminal matters in the High Court of Sierra Leone? First, we look at Section 64, Subsection 3 of the 1991 Constitution of Sierra Leone Act No. 6, which gives the power to the Attorney General to initiate all criminal matters on behalf of the state. Secondly, Section 46 of the Criminal Procedures Act No. 31 of 1965 also gives the Director of Public Prosecution the mandate to initiate criminal proceedings on behalf of the state. However, though he has such mandates, but there are certain offenses in which the Director of Public Prosecution cannot initiate criminal proceedings without the consent of the Attorney General. For instance, Section 53 of the Criminal Procedures Act No. 31 of 1965 made provisions of offenses which, when committed by a non-citizen, the DPP will require the consent of the Attorney General if he wants to prosecute those matters. Also, seditious libel. Here also, the Director of Public Prosecution will, if not demand, but require the consent of the Attorney General in order to initiate criminal prosecution. Let's also consider Section 89 of the ACC Act of 2008, which gives the Anti-Corruption Commissioner or any other authorized person the mandate to initiate criminal proceedings on matters related to corrupt offenses within our jurisdiction. The second limb for today will be who is to be prosecuted in the High Court of Sierra Leone. Any person aged 18 and above and of sound mind can be prosecuted in the High Court of Sierra Leone. It is worth knowing that a lunatic cannot be prosecuted in the High Court of Sierra Leone. Also, a child below the age of 14 cannot be held liable for any offense, and this is in line with Section 70 of the Child Rights Act of 2007. This is because the said child is considered incapable of committing a crime. That's why we call them the Dolly Incapers. A company can be prosecuted or its directors, or both. And it is also very important to know that a company can as well sue because it is considered a juristic person by law. That is to say, it is considered a person in the eyes of the law. You cannot bring a criminal action against a diplomat of another, of another nation. The only exception is that if the humility waived, then you can prosecute them. You can also not bring an action against the president whilst in his term of office. And this is post one to section 48, subsection 4 of the 1991 Constitution of Sierra Leone Act number 6. The last limb for today's session is the commencement of criminal matters in the High Court of Sierra Leone. The rule says any prosecution on indictments in the High Court of Sierra Leone shall be conducted by a law officer or a legal practitioner. In a magistrate's court, a private individual may conduct prosecution. When someone is being charged with a criminal offense in the High Court of Sierra Leone, they will be charged with remand custody or grant police bail. When an accused is being brought before the High Court of Sierra Leone, the indictment, the indictment will be read in his presence and he will be asked whether guilty or not guilty. If he takes the plea of not guilty, then it means he has put himself on full trial. Where the accused takes the plea of guilty, then judgment will be passed against him, and the court will hence not require full trial. But where the accused remains silent, when the offenses are being read against him, the court will order the registrar to record a plea of not guilty on his behalf. And so the adage of silence means consent does not work in this regard. 
We are going for a break now and we shall come back to continue in another session. But before you leave, make sure you subscribe, like and share our link to help others also get a bite from the law basket. Thank you.